It's part two. Your backwards voice reveals all your secrets and the CIA knows it. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Saudi border. Jamal Zamon and the Times. Jamal Zamon and the Times. Jamal Zamon and the Times. Now, David didn't know who or what Simone was, but the word kept coming up over and over again in reverse speech analysis of President Bush and other security officials. Turns out, a Simone is a weather phenomenon that occurs in the Middle East. It's a hot, heavy wind that can sometimes exceed 130 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a cyclone that carries clouds of dust and sand. Humans and animals caught in a Simone often suffocate. In other words, Damn. a Simone is a desert storm. Wait. Hmm? When was Operation Desert Storm? 1991, the following year. Reverse speech revealed clues about a United States military operation while it was still in the planning stages. This information was sent in a memo to Dick Cheney and the Defense Department, then CNN got a hold of it. In theory, it may sound hard to believe, but it's creating quite a stir in Washington. Here that is John Holliman, report. And today, the brave American and allied forces are keeping watch along the sands and off the shores of Saudi Arabia. President Thursday. Bush making a speech about the Persian Gulf. Could it contain a secret code word which can only be heard by listening to the truth backwards? A longtime aide to Rhode Island Senator Claiborne Pell apparently believes the president and other top officials are hiding the code word in speeches about the Gulf crisis. Almost immediately, David Oates was invited to Washington to meet with representatives from several intelligence agencies. <laughs> he was invited. Uh, well, he was strongly encouraged. Uh -huh. Well, during a five-day workshop, a senior FBI official said about reverse speech, if this is real, there are no more secrets. And David Oates left Washington, D.C. and returned to his home in Dallas. And that's when strange events started happening, and he was hit with a lot of bad luck. A few days after returning home, there was a drive-by shooting at his house. The following night, he received a phone call. The caller said, leave JFK alone and hung up. David had published some reverse speech analysis of Lee Harvey Oswald that seemed to indicate he didn't act alone and was part of a bigger conspiracy. Everybody knows that. Well, that's not the official report. Oh, you believe an official government report, huh? Well. Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to shave you down and make a sweater out of your wool. Because I'm a sheep. Because you're a sheep, that's right. A lot of reverse speech is interpretation. But David Oates interprets this clip of Lee Harvey Oswald as him hinting to a conspiracy. The fact that I did uh, live for a time in the Soviet Union gives me excellent qualifications to uh, repudiate charges that Cuba and the Fair Play for Cuba Committee is communist control. Oswald also claims the conspiracy is being orchestrated by powerful people and when and where because of the fact that uh, we certainly don't have any trade with them. We are discouraging trade uh, with that country. Exactly what people? Oswald gives us a clue. Well, I have uh, studied Marxist philosophy, yes, sir, and also other philosophers. Sometimes your reverse speech isn't specifically connected to your forward speech. But when it is connected, this is called a congruent reversal. Right, these, these people have given me a hearing without legal representation or anything. You shoot the president? I didn't shoot anybody, no, sir. Why? Another congruent reversal. Oswald denies shooting the president, but in reverse tells us there were three shooters. I didn't shoot anybody, sir. I haven't been told what I'm here for. Do you have a lawyer? No, sir, I don't. No free metal wolf. No free metal wolf. No free metal wolf. Now, many theories of the JFK assassination suggest a three man team. Now, the reason Oswald was killed in custody, he was going to talk. I like some legal representation. These police officers have not allowed me to. to... Bro, when we gonna get the um, when we gonna get the kill AS, all the corrupt motherfuckers? When we gonna unlock our powers and be able to it really be the Avengers? They the they the 
I'm Thanos. They the Avengers. You feel me? When we gonna get the uninstall alone? YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I look for the day forward for that to happen. Ain't no way whatever God to be. Ain't no way. We so creative. We make animes and shit. You got Naruto on all that. They got chakra, prana, all kind of shit. They got powers. That How the fuck we make an anime and people more powerful and they better in the anime than your actual creation being... Bro, sometimes I wish I was in an anime. That shit is unfair. The, bro, we literally creating shit from where we grabbing it from the Akashic Records or whatever. We making characters that got powers and all that, but yet motherfuckers here on Earth just meat soups. It could be somebody trying to do the right and just thing, and he get killed by one bullet, and that's it. God ain't have his back. The laws of the universe ain't have his back. His higher self ain't have his back. The angels ain't have his back. That shit weird. When we gonna, you feel me? I just want to jump straight to the ass already. I ain't gonna lie. How, how much longer are we gonna, we gotta keep putting the truth under the carpet or anybody that speak on it get unalive. And then it's only so much you can do when they got thousands, if not millions of soldiers, super soldiers. That's a bunch of John Wicks, but bad guys. You feel me? That can do all that crazy shit that literally was born and raised up. That's all they know is killing and they do they bidding. Like when we gonna have a when you gonna level the playing field and make this shit equal where we actually can fight and see who win. And not where it be on some stupid shit when somebody use a nuclear warhead or some bullets. Imagine that you go through all the hardships and everything you go through in life. Just to give it up to their white God and Jesus. Just to go out there and put your life on the line, tell the truth, knowing you got a family and everything. Just for whatever God to be of the universe and your higher self and the angels to allow you to get hit with a stray bullet and die immediately. Just to go where? It's different if you ascend and mission complete or whatever. But what if you just reincarnate with no recollection of your past life just to go through the same unnecessary shit? Bro, it, 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 it wonders. It's crazy, bro. Sometimes I feel like, bro, how we creating some shit that's better than actual real life? I'd rather it be like the, the ninja war, the great ninja war. I, at least the kids was able to defend themselves. You seen when they tried to kill Gara, baby Gara, he ended up killing her. You feel me? At least they had some hope. Meanwhile, kids getting snatched every 30 to 40 seconds. They can't defend themselves. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I know this may sound kind of odd to you or whatever, but I think of shit like this. Like, how are we creating cartoons and little things and and some things about it? Even some things. How is it better than real life in some way? That's crazy. It could be somebody out here telling the truth and one of these. Probably a shape-shifting reptilian and just killing. That shit is crazy to me, bro. Like, is it worth telling the truth? Don't answer that. Let's continue. What they did to John F. K. Here's an interesting comment by President Johnson. America's got the United Miss Hour and Miss Hour. Oh, I sent the man to you back to come. Oh, I sent the man to you. Do you get what I'm saying though? Like it's weird. It could be anything. It could be the Aaron Salters that died at the Buffalo shooting that powered his car with water or even before him, the Stanley Myers or JFK, uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Doc, Malcolm X, uh, Tupac, uh, Michael Jackson, a uh, Prince, or uh, anybody speaking on something that all the good guys die. Like, ain't no good benevolent forces out to help or protect them. The angels, God, Jesus, Yahweh, Allah, Akbar. Ain't could be it just nothing ain't no nothing out there to help them it seemed like everything low vibratory and evil just winning bl's above asthma there's baphoma lucifer loki cthulhu lilith hella it's like you can't beat them join them why not be with the bad guys if that white sky god man don't exist and you since you exist the opposite it's no such thing it's not existing once you exist you exist and you will exist forever no matter what form you take in the next life, parallel universe, or what have you. But if you exist, you cannot not exist. That's That don't even make sense. 
So it's like it's weird. Like all the good guys get dropped off. Is it worth telling the truth for being a good guy? They all lose. Anybody that ever said anything worthwhile or important, they all lose. The bad guys win. The um ones that distract you and that put a thousand bubble gums in a uh, a trillion bubble gums in a backyard, them type YouTubers, etc. They get all the views. It's like they just live. And that's not even really living because they still being dumped with them same chemtrails. They ain't thinking with their full capacity. They ain't unlocking no new neural pathways and doormat DNA. So it's like, bro, what the fuck is you supposed to do in life, bro? And at the same time, you knowing it's all the good guys that. And you on top of this, you not supposed to hate them. Nigga, you got the right to for real. Do I? Me personally, no, because I know I can't catch my light that way. You feel me? But. It's, you ain't never thought of this like all the good guys lose every time and the bad guys always winning and they always been winning since the beginning of time of anything that's been recorded that we know of they always been winning so it's like what the fuck are you to do they got all the technology they in cahoots with the aliens they got the neural pathways unlocked that's been here thousands of years they got philosopher stone and all kind of shit that's immortal at the end of that the the only way you can possibly level this playing field is if it's true that people finna unlock their DNA and they mutate and then they got powers to actually fight these motherfuckers and these giants and Gilgamesh's. They put in these benevolent, I mean, benevolent entity spirits in. That's the only way you can make this shit right and make it make sense is that people truly are unlocking a doormat DNA and it's going to be on some Avenger shit, but not. Not them. I understand they, they was the bad guys. Thanos and them was the good guy. What y'all think? Let me know. I probably was very aware with it, but I have thoughts like that. That's how my brain works. It's crazy. These niggas been winning for so long. Fuck, why would I... Sp eh, let's continue. Thank you, Earl. President Johnson addresses Congress. We must be ready to defend the national interest and to negotiate the common interest. This is the path that we shall continue to pursue. I shield the path of the great sin. I shield the path of the great sin. This is our challenge. This shit is trippy as Not well. to hesitate, not to pause, not to turn about and linger over this evil moment, but to continue on our course. Want a flat-out confession from President Johnson? You got it. On the 20th day of January, in 1961, John F. Kennedy told his countrymen that our national work would not be finished in the first thousand days. You know, you know. You know, you know. A conspiracy like this would need the help of the FBI. So here's FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover talking with LBJ. Usually the, the, the presidential car in the past has had uh, steps on the back next to the bumpers and there's usually been one on either side standing on those steps. That I don't trust no motherfucker named Edgar. Back then we the egg your house motherfucker. I don't trust that shit. This nigga a demon. I scanned him already. The, at the back bumper. Lots of people were part of this plan, including police. Can we trust them to stay quiet? Yeah, neither of the police officers on either side made any move to push him away or to grab him. It wasn't until after the gun was fired that they then moved. That there are officers enough to the tail. That there are officers enough to the tail. Now, David Oates' research must have upset somebody because after publishing these and other clips, his house burned down. Let me show you how we do stuff around here. Actually, my department... They burnt this house down. We would have egged it. They'd be at worse. Oh, no. What evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow, no. Man for the heart. Girl 
Anyway, whether I'll be an asset or liability, uh, the surveys show that it's uh, helped because I think we are winning. We are winning. We are winning. David Oates worked from home, so when his house burned down, a lot of his research was destroyed. He was able to recover one tape, though. He was recording when the house started burning. Oh, he was in the house when they lit it up? Oh yeah, this wasn't just arson, this was attempted murder. Anyway, on the tape, you hear someone yell to David that the house is on fire. David then runs out of the room. About 30 seconds later, you can hear one or possibly two people ransacking his office. And David could hear whispering on the tape. David Oates moved his operation into an office building, and strange events follow him there too. His office was broken into multiple times, and his staff discovered a program on one of his computers. Every day at 3 a.m., it was downloading all of his data and sending it to an IP address in Virginia. As is common with whistleblowers and other people with information the government doesn't like, David Oates was ridiculed. When government officials were asked about reverse speech, they said it was nonsense. When asked about David Oates giving a workshop to intelligence agencies, they denied knowing anything about it. But in 2016, the CIA declassified David Oates' file. They were keeping tabs on him and his books. They did take reverse speech seriously. They probably still do. But reverse speech doesn't have to just be about solving conspiracies. You could also use it to solve crimes. You could interview a suspect and then play the conversation back to find out the truth. And David Oates has helped law enforcement in exactly this way. On David's website, you can buy training materials to teach yourself how to identify reverse speech. And David's students have used reverse speech during employee interviews to identify the best candidates. It's been used to successfully warn a CEO not to sign a deal that had hidden traps. Reverse speech is also used in personal development. For people struggling with anxiety or depression, reverse speech has been used by psychologists to better understand the subconscious. It's helped families reconnect. It's given students clarity when faced with major life decisions. Now, some would argue that people go to psychics to help them with major decisions, and that's usually a scam. But reverse speech is different. There is no spirit talking through a medium. There are no tarot cards, no crystal ball. With reverse speech, you can hear the words with your own ears, and then it's up to you to make the interpretation. Now, chances are you are already leaning in one direction. You just needed someone to give you some advice and a little push. With reverse speech, the person giving you advice is someone that you know without question has your best interest in mind. That person is you. I had my path. Oh, and then came age. That barrier was gonna happen. That barrier was gonna happen. That barrier was gonna happen. Well, More sooner or later, I don't know if it's all going to be coming out at once. I mean, the, the one thing for sure is the thing that's on a lot of people's Why mind. Why is he still walking around? Somebody quick scope him Fortnite. Real life, I, I mean it. Why y'all letting him and Bill Gates still walk around, bro? Somebody please get rid of him, please. You feel me? If you don't do it and I don't like my person time, I'm going to do it myself personally. I'm getting rid of him, Kim Jong-un. The Pope, the Black Pope, the Reverends, Priests, all of them. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. Why is he still walking around? It's a man, the reason why a lot of y'all people got uninstalled. I will never get vaccinated, never. I know these people in their history. I see their present, I'm in it. I can project their future. I don't trust now one of them. They say such and such. This is good for you. This is good for you. Get this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Nope. You come this way, I'm going to get rid of you personally. Let's continue. Is what about outdoors? We must know. We must know. We must know. We must know. I don't trust nothing that looks so like that. So reverse speech, is nothing. it a real thing? Well, officially, no. Reverse speech is considered pseudoscience. At least for now, it's being debated. And there's a reason for that. The clips I played today are the best ones I could find. I cherry pick them. Most reversals are kind of like this. The business is doing well and we're doing well. It's uh the we no we Um uh what the hell are they talking about? Well, according to David Oates, most reversals are metaphors. So when we listen to this Neil Armstrong clip, the reverse is, wife, feel the vomit. 
Okay, your bus is, looks like it's clear and okay. The toes are about to come over the seal. David Oates interprets this, that Neil Armstrong feels like his wife is probably very worried. Uh, How about this reversal where Armstrong says, we oh, were once- Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, meta is yeah, metaphors. Okay. Cause just hearing that, like what? And then you know that feeling when you, something don't sit right with you, that gut. And... One more time. David Oates interprets this, that Neil Armstrong feels like his wife is probably very worried. Uh. Hmm. That's... We're cooking. Uh. How about this reversal where Armstrong says, we were wanting that knob. <laughs> Stop it. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, I really think that had we not done that, we'd still been yes. all right. But uh, it was just insurance. It's nice to get a little insurance. Now. Yeah. In reality, not now. In reality, not now. This was interpreted as something on the lander had been broken and they needed to fix it. But that's really just an interpretation of a metaphor, which will mean different things to different people. This is often what happens with so-called prophets like Nostradamus. Let's look at Century 3, Quatrain 34. Then the eclipse of the sun will then be. In broad daylight, the monster will be seen. Everyone will differ on the interpretation. Her grass unguarded, none will have foreseen it. For a long time, this was interpreted as the assassination of JFK. The eclipse of the sun is the darkening of Kennedy's presidency. The monster was Lee Harvey Oswald. And the three other shooters. Right. But then after the 9-11 attacks, people said the eclipse was the collapse of the Twin Towers, and the monster represents the terrorists. And I can understand either of these, but I'm an American. These are two very American-centric interpretations. I bet Asian cultures have different interpretations. Muslim cultures definitely do. What if you're- That's another reason. This is just another, right, so many reasons and emphasis on why. I don't believe in that Black Panther Party shit where it's just black people. I don't believe that. On top of the sub planter Yakub that created people to do a bidding. Or whoever the fuck created them. If you don't think it was him, even though it means sub I steal though. You feel me? Like, I will not. I always wanted my Fast Too Furious family growing up. People that come from all different sects and walks of life. You feel me? Different languages. We all bring this thing to a table. So I get my American interpretation of it. At the end of that, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Haitian, Jamaican, such and such, such and such, so on and so forth. A female girl and every, I mean, a female and a dude in every different race where we all come together and we all got this common ground foundation of morals, codes, ethics, integrity, righteousness, honor, etc. You feel me? But everybody get their interpretations like, but it's still corresponding pertain to what we trying to figure out at hand. And then we all come to a, a agreement and see like it'll be bro that'll make life beautiful you will be able to find and come up with a lot of things and figure out a lot of truths and hidden in plain sight etc instead of it's a whole it come from one demographic or that think a type way and we nah y'all can have it i always wanted my fast and furious family growing up because i want to see different shit and experience different shit different cultures different food and shit i don't want to just Oh, I just, oh, man, nah, I'm not with it. But that's interesting, though, because people will interpret it different. You feel me? They still know the meaning, you feel me? But they interpret it different, so that's fucking dope, though. Yeah, I fuck with that. You're Ukrainian. Couldn't the monster be Putin or the Russian army? And maybe the eclipse predicts the destruction of Kiev or Ukraine losing the war. This is reflection and projection. People naturally interpret metaphors through the lens of their own culture, their own exactly. age group, and their own language. Exactly. That's why I want my, my group to consist of everything. Like a Japanese dude, Japanese female, Korean girl, a Korean dude, um, so on and so forth. And every race, don't we all together, all got this common foundation, though. Well, be, bro, we'll be the most dangerous, bro. We all, bro, I'm telling you. That's the best way you really can do it, for real. It don't get no better than that. And like Nostradamus, 
reverse speech interpretations will be That's radically crazy. different for different people. But as you can see, not only is the interpretation completely subjective, but so are the words themselves. Different people might hear different things. Check out this clip of Bill Clinton. David Oates hears, I like the path on my girl bunny. With the COVID-19 outbreak on a path to killing 200,000 people and destroying millions of jobs and small businesses. I don't hear that at all. I don't hear that either, but for some reason, it makes sense with this guy. Does it? Girl bunny, Playboy magazine, naked lady. Bill Clinton loves those. Fair enough. So you can see why reverse speech is controversial. The human brain really doesn't like chaos and randomness. It likes order. This is why you see familiar shapes in clouds. Oh, or like that time my grilled cheese sandwich looked like SpongeBob riding a broomstick while wearing a cowboy hat. That's oddly specific, but that's how it works. Your brain fills in as many details as it can. It's called pareidolia. And this can occur with sound too. It's called audio or auditory pareidolia. When you hear backward speech, it sounds really random. So your brain tries to make some sense of it. This could be why reverse speech is perceived as a string of metaphors. Because how else do we connect Bob Lazar with eloping? So, I mean, that was the first time I knew that this is really something different. What was it? They're fighting with muscular. They're fighting with muscular. But there are reversals of Lazar that do make some sense. And you got that job. Before that, you were working. Before that, I had worked at Los Alamos. Right. National Labs in New Mexico. Like it's coming this. Like it's coming this. You know, you can turn on an electromagnet and it makes a magnetic field. We can't make a gravitational field. Best game minute. Best game minute. Best game minute. You know, when I worked there, I was on the front page of the, the paper. So yes. they were still able to archive, you know, bring, bring that back from the archives. And, you know, Bob Lazar, a physicist working here at Los Alamos. So there was at least something there. This is the Pharaoh's. This is the Pharaoh's. This is the Pharaoh's. But again, is there real meaning here or is our brain trying to help us out? Because some of these reversals do make sense in certain contexts. Honestly, it's hard to say. Now, skeptics will say there is zero to reverse speech that the human brain just can't process language this way. Well, if you're one of those skeptics, I've got bad news for you. Are you going to let the greedy heating companies and their crazy high prices decide if your family is allowed to stay warm this winter? Here the human brain is an amazing machine. It's fine, I wouldn't say amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> High-end processors on a desktop computer run about five gigahertz. So it processes about 5 billion operations per second. That's a lot. But the human brain can process between 10 quadrillion and 100 quadrillion calculations per second. That means a human brain is between 2 million and 20 million times faster than a high-end computer. And look, maybe you can't multiply two numbers as fast as a calculator, but think of all the things your brain does in one second. It's controlling the movements of all your muscles. It's monitoring your breathing, your heartbeat. It's controlling your internal temperature regulating blood pressure and hormone levels. It's growing hair and nails, digesting food, and doing thousands of other internal operations. In that same second, your brain is processing sensory information. Sights, sounds, touch, smell, taste. It's connecting your senses with your emotions. Your brain is making new memories and deciding which ones to discard and which ones to file away. And it's retrieving memories to help you better adapt to your environment. And these are all calculations that your brain does automatically. But at the same time, all that is happening, your brain can learn to play an instrument, acquire a skill, learn a language, or learn to speak in reverse. So for skeptics to say the human brain can't process speech backward, I give you John Austin. It's the backwards dude. I'm taking my talent out on the street here in Charlotte, North Carolina. The weather is Whoever be saying somebody can't or can't do something, don't listen to them. It's just them. They a stupid chimpanzee monkey man. That's it. Don't listen to them. They just incapable. They dumbasses. Don't listen to them right now. Like, somebody ever tell you you can't, man, don't listen to they stupid ass. They ain't nothing. Again, they won't enter the credits in this elongated movie called Life Here on Earth. They NPCs. Yeah, the, the lambs that were there with. The weather is now today. Slap, y'all, what do you. Why do I show you big? Dude, struck out with Nodge Sissive. This is Sean, the backwards dude. Giving a shout out to the wife house. Okay, that guy is amazing. I agree. Now check this out. 
the world, they ask me be the wheat. No, I serve a wheat bed net. Zwanin, yeah, she rev a da. Read near zon, there with flawed ur. Can you guess what he's singing? Let's play it in reverse. Rudolph the red nose grain here had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, he would even say it blows. So John can reverse speak in real time. And people are rightfully blown away by this. But all he's really doing is speaking another language. Rather than learn Spanish or French, John learned reverse speak. Maybe not as useful as Spanish, but still impressive. So encoding thoughts backward and forward speech, that is something that our brains can do. And according to David Oates, we learn this at an early age. Specifically, he claims we learn speaking backward before we learn speaking forward. Now, is this auditory pareidolia? Are we assigning meaning where it doesn't belong? I honestly don't know, but I'm fascinated by it. And here's something you can try. Record your daughter telling you what she did on spring break. Or record your husband talking about his business trip. Then play those conversations in reverse. On second thought, don't do that. Sometimes secrets are just better kept as secrets. But not when it comes to our elected officials or anyone that has power over our lives. If just one person was able to use reverse speech to figure out what politicians are really saying, that would be like a superpower. But if an entire population can do it, that would probably lead to anarchy. So you'll have to make a choice. Dishonesty from your leaders and the status quo, or honesty and anarchy. I know what I choose. Honesty, for sure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My name is AJ. You know Hecklefish. Get your service. This has been The Y-Files. If you had fun or learned anything, do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share. I know it's annoying that I ask, but it really does help. And like most topics we cover on this channel, today's was recommended by you. So if there's a story you'd like to see or learn more about, go to thewifiles.com slash tips. And special thanks to our patrons who make The Y-Files possible. You guys are amazing. And if you'd like to support the channel or just join an incredible community, consider becoming a member on Patreon or joining our Discord or grab something for the Wi Fi store. Yeah, how do you say buy a hecklefish mug backwards? I don't I, I don't know. Gum uh gum gum shekel, fish shekel. No, that's it, right? Gum shekel fish. I, I gotta work on it. Oh, uh, this was actually a really fucking good video. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you learned something. There's just one more thing to add. You feel me? Why not? You can come up with some shit, I'm telling you. It's all kind of innovation. You can look at the smallest of things, like, and you can turn that whole thing into a video, a video idea, a song. I've done it, like, but, um, and the truth as well. It makes sense. If you consciously lie to a motherfucker, your subconscious, that opposite yet equal reaction, will tell them the truth. You get into it, you feel me? Hopefully you learned something today. This was a really good video. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. I felt like I was in, not school, school late, but I felt like I was really amplifying something I already looked into a bit, but... And now, it's definitely something I'm adding into my internal repertoire. I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out. You do that. That's going to do it. Until next time.